navigating the Blackboard My Institution page. When you first log into Blackboard, you're going to be on a web page that is generically referred to as the My Institution page. You'll see some main tabs up along the top, and you'll see Kaltura My Media and My Institution subtabs. Clicking on the Kaltura My Media subtab and then the My Media link will launch the Kaltura My Media repository. This media can be easily added into any of your Blackboard courses. Now I'll click back on the My Institution tab and then I'll click on the My Institution subtab. The My Institution page has a number of different boxes called modules. Modules organize different kinds of information and links. One thing you'll definitely see on the My Institution page is your course list with all of the courses in which you are enrolled. The course list has two parts, courses where you are an instructor or courses where you are a student. If you're a faculty member, you'll see all of the courses where you are the instructor listed at the top of your course list and any courses that you're enrolled into as a student will be a bit further down on the course list. To enter a course, you just click on the title of the course, which is a link. Now, be aware that if the announcements are actually displaying and you click on a link to an individual announcement, that will not launch the course. In order to actually enter the course, you have to click on the title of the course. If you are a faculty member at any of the Connecticut Community Colleges, you will automatically see two important resources in which you're enrolled as a student, the Course Design and Delivery Competency Self-Paced Course and the Best Practices Demonstration Course for faculty. If you are a student in the community colleges, you will probably have been enrolled in various orientation or resource courses for your college. Here's a quick tip for something helpful that you can do from this page. In the My Courses module, if I mouse over and then click on this small gear icon, I'll see the personalized My Courses window. From here, I can choose to group my courses by term, or I can drag and drop to reorder my courses, or I can hide any of the courses that I no longer want to see in my list. To drag and drop, just move your mouse over this up and down pointing arrow until it turns into a four-pointed cursor, left click, and then drag up or drag down. Now, let's say I no longer wanted to see one of my classes. All I have to do is click the checkbox to the left and then click it again. And then if I click Submit, that course will no longer appear in my course list. I want to take a moment to draw your attention to some of the other tabs up at the top of this window because they contain links to very important support information for both faculty and students. For example, if you click on the My Help Training tab, it contains a module with faculty FAQs and training links. Also, notice this module over to the right on student FAQs and training. This module includes information about how to get a free download of the Office 365 suite from Microsoft, which is available for free to students, faculty, and staff in the community colleges. Notice that up at the top right here, I have next to my name a little drop-down menu. This is called the Global Navigation Panel, and there's a separate video that will walk you through the important information that you can find on this panel. And of course, there's also the Logout button. Be sure to watch some of the other videos in this series to familiarize yourself with other aspects of the Blackboard Learning Management System.